Hey there all craft beer lovers, time for that beer review once again. So for this time around the trip goes to Belgium and we're taking a look at uh, an offering from one of the, uh, well I would say the world's most famous Belgian breweries. Uh, Brewery Timmermans and we're taking a look at their Faro, described as a Lambic coming in at 4%. 375 ml bottle brewed in Belgium and they say on the label uh, Anno 1702 the world's oldest Lambic brewery. Nice traditional label, uh, birdcage and wooden cork that's the back side and that's it. Nice green bottle also traditional of course. Now let's get this one popped up see what we get. So this one is uh, it's a lambic and this one has uh, got candy sugar added to it during the brew during the brewing process itself actually to kind of uh, balance out the oh this was a tough one to get off this bird cage there we go yeah to balance off the uh, the acidity there we go nice pop nice smoke to balance off the acidity of the uh, lambic itself there we go right looking good right look at that pour in a little bit more right let's stop there for a second or two uh, barely a pinkish worth of a nice off-white head small bubbles on top looks like a quickly dissipating little head there nice uh, good carbonation Nice amber looking uh, color to it, almost like a little bit of rusty brown color there. Yeah, lovely presentation. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it smells very nice. Candy sugar and fruitiness up front. Oh, yeah. There's a, uh, I would say it's kind of a slight dark fruit vibe as well. A little bit of a... Uh, Almost like a little bit of a vinous touch to it. Oh yeah. Apricots. Almost like a little bit of raspberry in there. Yeah, slight hint of toffee caramel. Yeah, definitely some uh, dark fruits as well going on there. Plums, raisins. It smells very, very nice, I gotta say. So let's dive in, guys, and see what we are going to get. Cheers, everybody. <sighs> very pleasant. Very, very pleasant drinking. Gotta say, uh, oh yeah, I I would say right off the bat, if you like more kind of sweet beers with a more kind of a yeah, like a like a sweet palate, sweet character, that candy sugar, and plus you got the sweetness from the fruits in there. You gotta, you I'm, I'm sure you're gonna love this one actually. Again, it's very very pleasant drinking, sweet, lovely. Mm. Mm. So that's very interesting because it's got that lovely slight, slight acidity lurking about in the background. So it's more of a background thing, I would say, that, uh, char that characteristic lambic acidity. There we go. The rest of the beer is out. Uh, so the, I would say, yeah, that's more kind of a uh, background thing. A little bit of background noise, if that makes sense. Uh, the main uh, thing here is the sweetness, the that fruity sweetness. You get raisins in there, you get a slight hint of uh, toffee and caramel, a little bit of apricots. Not a bad beer, it's very, very easy drinking. Final sip. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Lovely candy sugar in there. 
apricots, fruitiness, caramel, toffee, a little bit of raisins. If that's your thing, it's got a lovely sweetness to it, but it's also kind of, uh, it adds another dimension that you have a little bit of that lambic acidity lurking about in the background. For me, it's a super well-made beer, lovely Belgian beer. If you like those things, give this one a go. Gotta say, guys, Brewery Timmermans Faro, 4%. That, it's a very, very low ABV uh, beer, so it's a lovely, enjoyable beer. You can drink several of these, of course, if you should want to do that, if you are so inclined. For me, I think it's super well made. 4 out of 5. Definitely a lovely Belgian-style beer. Thank you for watching.